Hey guys, Zalonius here. Welcome to another video on the channel. In this video today, we are going to be looking at the latest content from EA. Triple threat, a new promo we've never seen um, in any of these games before. I, I wouldn't want to say FIFA's, we've never seen FIFA. It's new to FC this shit. Quite a simple concept. They're doing a player from the past, so like a hero or icon. I mean, they're all heroes. Um, um, a current male player and a current female player. So we've got Leon, Liverpool, Real Madrid, Chelsea, Man City, PSG, and Tottenham. So some pretty good teams. They've picked generally some of the best teams in world football. I don't know if they've said if it's a week or two week long promo. Um, honestly, first glance looks a bit dead compared to the previous promos, but they was never going to be able to keep up with the pace of the previous promos. To be honest, we'll do one club at a time. We're going to start with Spurs lot. So, there is an objective to get a James Madison for free. The James Madison, honestly, is a very good value card, in my opinion. I know it's free, but I mean, like, most of the objectives are pretty useless. Um, he can play a few positions. This Madison is not going to get in my team. He's just not going to be good enough for my team. But I genuinely think he'll be good enough for a lot of people's team. 4-4. Four, four, I feel like the other Madison might have been 4-3. I could be wrong there. Uh, we'll have a quick look, actually, at that. Because there's some quite a few interesting changes to some of these cards. So, Well, I'd be interested to see what the upgrades they've done on some of these are. No, okay, the other Madison was 4-4. Four, four, but it's a decent upgrade on the um, player of the month. But when you look at the card, um, the play style plus, I think, used to be dead ball. Um, long ball pass is a very good play style plus decisive pass Travella it's a very good free card at this point of the game are you sick to death of getting out teamed on FC24 want that god squad you've always been dreaming of check out iggm.com today the best and most reliable place to get coins for your ultimate team use the link in the description and code zell at checkout for a 5% discount check out iggm.com today um, he's a little slow, pretty bad physical, but has a lot of stuff you want. I'm going to have him probably as like A tier, maybe. I'm probably going to put him high B tier, actually. But it's one of the best objectives we've had. We've got objectives here to uh, where you get a bunch of rewards. Don't get much for that, to be honest. Um, you can get some decent packs for doing these objectives. However, you have to do them with the Ledley King uh, card, which is an SBC the Ashley Neville SBC. The Ashley Neville one, well worth doing. When we look at her, she's an 88 rated card that you can get for far cheaper. She's cheaper to do as an SBC than 88's cost right now. So you may as well do her for fodder in my opinion. However, you have to um, play 10 separate matches with these cards to do it. It's fine for Ashley Neville. You may as well do it as fodder. The Ledley King, they've given you a loan, but it's free games. So you have to do a, a 400k SBC to get that. In my opinion, Absolute joke for me, I put time locking, not okay, time locking, price locking objectives SBCs. That's a joke. Um, but we'll look at the King SBC. So the King SBC is coming at 400k. It is barely different to his other card. It's basically plus a, a plus two on everything. Um, he has Bruiser. He'll be better. Uh, maybe if you had an, another playstyle plus added on top, maybe I'd be able to give it 400k, but it's a great card. Honestly, I'm putting it S tier because he's one of the best centre-backs in the game, but when his other card's 100k and this one's 400k, I can't justify it. However, I will say it is a very good centre-back on this game. It's more just the price of everything else. So we're putting him in S tier. Ashley Neville. Fairly decent, to be honest. Um, not too small for a fullback. Compared to the other card, it's basically the exact same, just better stats, which I never like that on an SBC, but solid enough. Nearly in the Hullet gang. A little bit too slow for my liking, but um, you may as well do the SBC. I'm going to have Ashley beat here. Simply put, just too slow to push too high. Uh, we will do Leon next. So, Kakare. Probably butchered that pronunciation. So compared to his other card. 
a slightly better week, but more stats. Pretty lazy for me, eh? Can't shoot. Physical's a bit weird, but it's okay. Bit small. So what's his play styles? <coughs> Decent play styles, but I'm still going to have it CT. It's very limited. At this point, I don't think many people will be looking to use that card. Leon, who's the female? Cascarino, she's a pretty good card. Have they given her a week for upgrade? Yes, plus one. Um, other than that, basically a plus four to my stats. Definitely should have given her another play style. Um, she's insanely fast with good play styles as it is. Um, I'm going to have her beat it. You might think, oh, Zell, she's got some crazy stats. She also, if you look at her, can't finish. Stupidly weak. Three star weak foot. She's an okay card, but nothing special. Then the final one, I'm pretty sure Govu is the uh, Leon hero. Sydney Govu, there's some football knowledge for you. Let's have a look. Have they given him the weak foot? No. They've given him pinged pass and plus two or one on most stats. Uh, he's got good enough stats across the board. To where I can still justify him being A tier. Like if you compare him to Cascarino, yeah, he's a bit slower. But with a Hunter, he's got 97 finish and 98 shot power. He just isn't very good physical. Not great um, play styles. Not the best on the ball. So I can't justify him being too high. We will do Chelsea next. Connor Gallagher. Gold Relentless. A lot more play styles, to be fair. Um, the card in general, not far from the Hullet Gang. It's okay, as far as midfielders go. I'm going to have a C tier, though. The problem is, he just lacks a lot of areas, and 3-3 free is not the best. Chelsea women, I think we've got friend Kirby. Her gold card was actually pretty damn good on the ball. So giving her a play style plus. Honestly, if she'd have got a play style plus, she could have been very good. Um, if they'd have given her like gold finesse, she'd have been a really good card. I don't really understand why they've not done that. Great card on the ball. Because of the lack of physical and not the best, but no play style plus, I'm going to have a B tier. She had a gold finesse, so she'd be close to S tier. Okay, and the Chelsea hero, Joe Cole. Honestly... I don't know. He's still got technical, and he didn't have quick step at all, but he's got gold quick step. Hmm. Honestly, probably about as good. I'd rather have gold technical, but not having quick step and getting gold quick step. I think it is an improvement on the card still. I'm going to have it low S tier. So I'm going to have it A tier. At this point, I think he's fallen off slightly, and I'm going to put the absolute best cards in that tier, really. Um, we will look at Real Madrid. Five star weak foot. Be very interesting if her evolution comes out that she'll be good in. Um, not the best play styles though. Real lack of play styles. Not a great shot. Bad agility, composure, balance. A lot of gaping weaknesses there. I don't think I can put her any higher. Carvajal. I imagine he could be decent. Given no play style plus, but it's a useless one. If they gave him gold anticipate, that would have been amazing, but no weak for upgrade. Pretty well rounded stats, though. As far as fullbacks go, honestly, how much pace does he have again? He's probably an A. Not an exciting card, not that great, but he's alright. Morientes. Well, Ariel is better than Power Header. Just a plus one on everything, though. Still got a lot of the same issues. He'll be decent, but again, nothing special. It's pretty mid, though, this promo for what I'm seeing. Uh, we'll go PSG. Same play styles, just gold quick step. 
Compared to a gold, fairly decent upgrade. As far as left backs go, should be very good. The problem you've got with it is just small and um, very bad physical, but still a good card. Kimpembe, I'm going to assume this guy's going to be good. So, he didn't have Bruiser before. They've now given him Relentless Power Header and Gold Bruiser. That is a big upgrade. Gold Bruiser is very good. This guy would be crazy. He's going to be a very, very good centre-back on this game. I'm going to have him S tier. The Gold Kimbembe plays very well, so I can only imagine how this one will play. Uh, Ginola. I think we know where Ginola's going, but we may as well have a look. Seriously, like, it's so, so lazy from here. Just do plus one or two. He's S tier regardless. He's one of the best players in the game, but... Like, give him finesse or something. Like, come on. Kiernan for Liverpool. Few play styles. Four style weak foot. Yeah, it's good on, very good on the ball. Hmm. Yeah, she's all right. Probably have a B two. Low B two. Actually, I'm gonna put a high C. Uh, who else was it for Liverpool? Thiago. I already had a gold play star. I didn't realize that. They should have given him four star week for on this. Main difference here is just a huge pace upgrade, but uh, yeah, he'll be really, really good. He's got a lot of play styles, just lack the pace, basically. I think Thiago now will be A tier. Suits a lot of this meta. Can't be S2 with that weak foot and quite a few stats missing now. Coy, the Liverpool hero. Gold Aerial. He should have Gold Relentless, but getting a, a new play style is helpful. Help a bit more in the midfield. High BT. He's got a lot of good stats, but freestyle weak foot, not great play styles. Then the Man City lot. Some decent upgrades here. It's just basically a slightly better card. like A lot quicker, what's the point? Honestly, way too small. Put it in C tier, just way too small for a centre back. Realish, what have they done with you, Jack? A lot more pace. Weak foot and Ooh. Gold finesse and technical. I want to give it S tier, but he's a little slow. No five star. Not the best physical, not great shooting, but that is a good card now. That is a good card now. I'm going to go A tier. He's got some very good play styles. Gold finesse is good to very good. And um, yeah, he's a very good dribbler, of course. Yeah, Torre. Gold press proven. I would have loved to see them take away like flair and give him gold long pass uh yeah yeah toro was already a beast giving him plus two and one on most stats it's only gonna make that happen more honestly though not a particularly great promo to me i feel like i was a bit generous with some of these as well um i feel like i could have been a bit harsher to be honest i didn't want to just completely crap on this promo but a bit lackluster and the fact that there's I, I, S pack rewards and objectives and uh, XP that you can only get. I don't think you have to buy. Stupid. I hope it's not EA just testing stuff out before Black Friday. But yeah, appreciate you guys watching. This video. Let me know what you think of the content. As always, keep it spicy. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.